Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another live stream here on twitch.tv slash Asuma. we got bananas in chat from Mr. Ten, Tree, Alien Explorer, Rocky Avalon, Lena, Cool Patrick. I should pause my chat when I read it. Ed Network, JBM, Rock1985, Tutsuie2, Yonatan, 0870, I said that completely wrong. <laughs> The way, thank you for the bananas. Jam4004 and cute minecart. Thank you for the bananas. As well as Emerald Dragon and Thomas BJJ and Vash Desigi. I am I am just totally out of that streaming zone right now. My brain was not ready for the reading of chat. But we're here, we're ready to go. We're doing a bonus stream today. Deadly Apples says, how do you pronounce Asuma? Is it Asuma or is it Asuma? Or maybe Asuma. It's, believe it or not, Asuma is how you pronounce it. You say Asuma like that. You can also say Shishwambam or Shishwami. That goes, apparently. Zizuma if you're German. <laughs> Let's go in here. Let's go in here. Yeah, inside the server. Uh, we have a resubscribe. Why am I bouncing? We're bouncing again. Okay, it stopped. Oh. I can't control where I'm looking. Oh, I was going to put Optifine on. I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. We got a resubscribe for four months in a row from JMB Rock 1985. Thank you for the resubscribe, buddy. Mr. Ten says you pronounce it as a sumer. Exactly. See, Mr. Ten knows what we're talking about. Uh, Zarkaruni says, "Hey X, good to see ya. Nice to see you too, buddy. Thanks for tuning in." What time is it where you are? Says Drop Bear Luke. It is quarter to three. Why am I streaming at quarter three? This is hours before I usually stream. Uh, Quad Sawi says, I think you were bored and you checked Twitter. Someone tells you to stream and you did it. Is that true? No, it's not. Uh, what I did is I thought, if someone if someone tells me to stream right now, I'll actually do it. So I put out a tweet. I said, if you're on Twitter, you would have seen it. I said, if anyone tells me to stream, I'll do it. And loads of people told me to stream. So I hopped on here and we're, we're starting a stream now. Uh, where is my wireless module? It's in here. We're going to continue where we left off yesterday, working on the area down below, which I've actually done some more work on. Uh, we've got a donation here, Noise in the Air from Dear Shemi saying, I've got an exam tomorrow, just wanted to check in and say hi. Hi. Hello to you, thank you for the donation, appreciate the support as always. Speaking of exams, the reason that I'm streaming right now is because I had an exam today and I failed. Uh, I failed miserably and I will tell you all about that. Jeez, did I fail. Oh, today is one of those days that you'll always remember the details of, all these little things. Um, and I'm really like, I'm in a really weird mood. Uh, and before I start talking about what happened today, I want to just make sure we can get started on something so I don't just sit here blabbering. It looks like we need to do more work on the chiseled pieces around the outside. Now what I'd like to do is grab some factory blocks and do a little bit of counting. So we have three there, three here. Okay, I think we need to model a little bit of this wall. It's like a light source just disappear here. <laughs> Something odd happened then. Dude, this instant mine is incredible. Okay, so like that is three to three. And then, aha, is what we would normally see, right? I think I think we want to make that there the wall and remove this as well. The best way to do it is probably with this instant mine, but it creates lag every time. Look. Like that's really bad. When you when you move blocks inside my base there's lag. And I can't help but feel it's got something to do with the chisel and bits, because whenever you do it with that, you feel it the most. Either way, we're gonna tear out all of these sandstone bricks. And we're going to install some more factory blocks. And then we're going to put a particular wall along the back here. Now this is going to be where it actually opens up and goes back in that direction. So it's not the best place to start. Which means you'll probably see more of... Hmm. Yeah, more of... Uh, I'm thinking, my brain's doing stuff. Let's re-chat a little bit. Tree says, are you one of my classmates? I, I believe I'm not. Where is the stream? Says Chong Jigger. Uh, if someone could let them know. That it is streaming. Also, Christian says, thanks for the retweet. No problem, buddy. Thanks for telling me to stream. Um, your wish is my command. Uh, not 
Gnichtro says, Lo, I just watched the VOD from last time you streamed Hermit Pack. Good timing. Yes, it is. The wow, he says counting with X. New music style, I like it, says Siri. I can't quite... <laughs> Some of you guys have crazy names that I struggle to read. Uh, we've played Byro plenty of times before. It's not a new music style for me. I'm a big fan of jazz hop. I love uh, Nujabez, one of the the best jazz hop artists, as well as a Tribe Called Quest. So it's all it's all my cup of tea. Speaking of cups of tea, guess who's got a cup of tea? I got on a Sam. <laughs> Swiss Piplup says X is streaming. Gotta go make a tea. Indeed. If you don't have your tea at the ready, I don't know. I don't know. Like you haven't been here before, have you? You don't know what these streams are about. Can't enjoy a stream without a good cuppa. Okay, so over here, I really feel like there will be a pillar again because we're about to enter into a new area so there'll be some sort of forcing of direction so for this bit right are we gonna yeah we're gonna put a wall in there I think we can make this work I think like I'm not the best but I think we can make this work okay so we need some more materials uh, I believe blocks of iron will be required we may have to look through some patterns again Patterns, you know, textures. Right, while I bring this up, we'll have another little look at chat. <clears throat> SRCDK Gaming says, I watch you from Estonia. Awesome. Uh, I want to go to Estonia one day. I'd love to see that region of Europe. How are you so British, says Gyroport. I took a lesson. I took a British lesson, and it made me very British. Uh, my tea is not ready for drinking yet, though. It's, it's still piping hot. Uh, Unseen Shadow says a Sam is in India. I live here. I believe most or all tea is exported in our culture from India, or at least, uh, sorry, imported from. At least that's where we get tea from. When the, like the empire expanded in the colonial era, um, India was one of the places that we went to, and I believe that's where we found our love of tea. A little bit of FYI for you there. You probably knew that though. Okay, that would that would have to go there, and I think what I'm what I'm getting at here is you've got to look at the way the textures are working. Even though we're going to fill in this space, I actually kind of feel like we should go back further now that I've looked at it like that. Uh, we can use our replacing wands. Let's get some of those wands ready. Swapping wand, and we came here to look at textures. I see a drunk cow in chat. Hey, major. Have you ever listened to Lord of the Rings music, says Fungi for Life? I have. I've watched the movies, therefore I've heard the music, but I've got the soundtracks and enjoy them. They're very cool. Uh, Summit says, gee, I'm from India. There's probably a few people from India. We've got people from Portugal. Now, now prediction alert. Look at that chat. Look, there's loads of people telling you where they're from. See? Whenever we talk about countries, everyone loves to say where they're from. And I think that's, that, that's a cool thing. That's a good thing. We should all be proud of where we're from. And we should respect from where one another are from as well, you know? Right, what blocks are these? Block of diamonds. I'm, I'm vaguely tempted to use the block of diamond because it'll be fun. Um, but the textures just don't line up. Because we got diamonds galore, don't forget that. Hey Asuma, since you're into health and fitness, would you recommend uh, growing four extra arms? Well, I've grown two extra arms, and I felt that four arms was enough. I think if you add any more, it'd be a bit much. So maybe just grow two extra arms, not four. You know, remember, you can always grow two and then four, but you can't grow four and then, you know, chop them off. It really hurts when you chop off extra arms that you've grown. Anyway, uh, what's this? Marble. Marble looks cool. Nothing's, like, leaping out at me. I think, I think I've got a good idea, probably, of what's available in chisel but I always want to look through these textures each and every time because I don't quite know what I want to go with we could actually use stone and the site we could use the same blocks we've been using again but with a different texture now we're also going to need our chisel when we're doing this and with this we can drop off these unnecessary blocks very easily excellent um, so let's go for andesite and we should see this stuff which we've been using there is also stone that we've been doing that with there we go should be a similar quantity and then it was hardened stone I believe there it is and this one's got a lot more 
for some reason. So if we chisel that, let's halve all of these and chisel them. We should find a texture that might work here. We've used it a little bit before. It's this one, layers. Do I want to go with that? Or is there something maybe a little bit better? I'm really not sure. That one looks like it could work to me. All night. So let's let's try that because the other one I think is going to be a little bit... Oh, ornate. Ornate. Do we have ornate again? Yes, we do. And uh-oh. Ah, wait a minute, it's not a chisel thing, so we might not have ornate. Oh no, we might really be limited on options because of that. So no, there is there is no ornate equivalent. So the only other thing to do now is to look back at chisel and just check. We've done andesite, we've done stone, moss stone, ah, the green's not going to work. Anything else grey in here? with that same texture. No, it doesn't look like it. This one, which is chiseled stone. It's just the same thing, isn't it? Yikes. Okay, so, well, let's rip this out. Have a little look. We'll start trying a few things. Oops. Are they... They literally look identical. Wow. I think they actually go to the same texture. That's kind of ugly, man. That's kind of really ugly. No, we're not going to do that. Please call it shuriken, not shuriken, says Dope Dog. I don't know. I just say it how I say it, you know? Um, so, PVTop89 has subscribed to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the support. We also got a donation here from Tree saying, I'm proud from where I'm from. But I may be moving to Norway. Wow, Norway's Norway's a beautiful place. I think you'll like it there. Thanks for the donation, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, Painting Pixel says I added my country slash city to the Void Map X. Awesome. Thanks for doing that. It's always cool to check that that map out. Okay, so if we can't, ah, I really like to do the the variated things. So this is the other texture I was looking at, and I'm gonna sneeze. Whew, there we go. The other one I was looking at was that. So what we can do is just throw in the occasional one of those just to break it up a little bit. But now the problem is we run the risk of being very, uh, very a bit on the plain side. I think is what we're looking at. I actually think I actually think that'll work. I really do. Now. Oh, we, we just had a look through. I'll tell you what, I won't do it again. But what are these called? Layers? So can we search layers? Ah, look at that. Wait a minute. There's cobblestone layers. Excellent. So we did miss one. Now that's really cool, because you might be able to mix those together, right? Oh, there's a good one for you. If you build a site out of yellow, you've got three different colours that might mix together. And they can all have the same texture. That Oh, my headset. My headset just fell off my face. <laughs> Oh dear. Endercraft1111 one, 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 says, Hi X, just joined. Won't be able to watch long. Uh, I am just taking a short break between subjects while doing homework. Good man. Do your homework. That's, th that's what I like to hear. When it's all done, then you can play. Right, that looks good. I think this is going in the right direction. What do you all think? Sorry, his cat says, I'm from Greece, the only country you can be both proud and embarrassed about at the same time. You shouldn't be embarrassed, man. Like, what's going on in Greece isn't the fault of the Greece people, is it? It's the fault of corrupt people in charge. Like, you shouldn't be embarrassed for that. I, if anything, I'm embarrassed that, you know, surrounding nations don't do more to help one another in situations like that. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Now that we know what we're doing, I'm going to build this round a little bit. We'll see how it looks. We'll, we'll see how it feels. I can tell you about uh, my day today because this one, like I said, oh no, we've got to throw cobblestone in here. Let's get let's get a little bit more concentrated before we talk because I've got to throw away more materials. Uh, we're not using that, and we're not using that. Right, and that. Okay, so we were working with chiselled and andesite, so we also need cobble. 
Oh, it looks like I've actually used the exact thing we're on about before. Okay, so we're going to grab that much. And then two stacks of stone, two stacks of andesite, and we are good. Oh, that's not how you spell andesite, apparently. Andesite. Andesite. Got to remember that. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's do a quick check on the cobblestone. That one's got to be used sparingly. I feel like it looks really nice and clean. The cobble takes away from that, gives it a bit of a, a rundown feel, which we don't want to throw in there too much. The MMX says, why don't you use the building ones? Good question. Uh, given the way that we're building, it wouldn't be the way to do it. I don't think the wand would help us here. What we probably should be using is the hammer. However, this is uh, this is instant mine right here. I'm just going to do it this way, you know. I'm just going to do it simple and easy. Don't use your brain way. Is that okay? Is that okay if I don't use my brain? <laughs> there we go. Right, I also must make sure I've got plenty of factory blocks, which I don't really have. So the other adjustment is to make more of those. Uh, X, I just rewatched season one to three of Hermitcraft and noticed that your voice changed so much. It did, didn't it, right? It definitely changed. And I think it changed for the better. Right, there we go. So, boom, boom. That should be enough to see us for a while. Super duper cool stuff. Swiss Piplup says, I think you like it if I didn't create the vertical lines. The vertical lines in between. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think I think it works though. I feel like it works. Uh, we need to get rid of that block. Just chuck one of those up there because that wants to come down like that. And we want the textures to connect in that way, particularly. Cool. So I believe with 17 minutes in, it might be good for me to drink some tea. It's also time for me to tell you about my day, which is why I wanted to stream because I just feel like I can't. I can't just like start recording or do something right now. I just I just feel a bit frazzled. Right, so today I had my first driving test and it did not go well. It did not go well and I would like to blame blame nerves, but I feel like I feel like the nerves didn't affect me in the way that I thought they would. Um, lots of people have told me they're like really nervous, they're shaking when they take their driving test. I wasn't shaking, I wasn't nervous in that way, it just felt like my brain sort of fell apart. And I got some funny things to tell you. So, so I started off really well by walking to the wrong car. <laughs> Sounds great as I say it out loud. I literally walked to the wrong car. And the instructor's like, oh that car's nice, but I think you want this one. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I've gone to the wrong car. So that was off to a great start. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> what a derp. What a derp. Seanut uh, says, I failed my first and second. I'm, I'm confident that I would pass it again if I'm not going to have the same problem I had this time because I made two big mistakes. And then when it came to minor mistakes, if I just trimmed down a few, um, I, I would pass. And I, I felt like those big mistakes I made were really avoidable. Uh, but to be fair, I thought I had failed before I actually had in the test. Because I started off really badly, I noticed that I was forgetting to indicate a couple of times, or I wasn't looking over my shoulder and using the mirrors correctly. And... I sort of told myself this has gone so bad, like it, that got in my head very quickly, which in hindsight was really quite bad, because I was telling myself I failed before I even knew I had, and I genuinely thought that, but looking back on it, I hadn't actually failed yet when I thought I had, so that was probably a bad way to think while I was doing the test, but I wasn't like, oh I failed, whatever, it doesn't matter, I was like, well I'm going to try and do the best I can from this point on. Um, one of our moderators' names isn't appearing in chat. They say, I made a huge nervous mistake too. I drove on the wrong side of the road for a second. Yikes, that's crazy. Uh, Jimmy says, it took me until the third time until I passed. The first time someone cut me up on a roundabout and the second time I had the worst headache. Interesting. I was practicing before I went and someone walked across the roundabout and I had to stop on the roundabout and I forgot to take my foot off the clutch and I stalled on the roundabout and it was just like... 
I hate stalling. Oh my god. And I pulled over. I had to pull over and I was I was doing the pulling over thing really bad. I just forgot to indicate. Uh, didn't get close enough to the curb. And then like like you said, alright, continue. And uh <laughs> and I tried to drive off in second gear and it took me a while to figure it out. I just it was so bad. It was so bad. I can't believe how bad I was. Um <laughs> And I know I can do better. I know I can do better. It's just you got to get it right on the day is, is the deal. And I think I will. I'm, I'm confident I can get the second one done if I don't, you know, mess it up in my head. But anyway, it gets worse. So I was driving without, like, paying attention to the signs at one point, And I went through a giveaway section, um, which is kind of bad because you're supposed to give way, as it says. How's this bit going to look? I think it's going to look like that. Yes, it is. And then this would be a pillar. That is correct. But now it is... Oh, no, it is in sync with that. Yeah, so I failed the test, actually, when I went through the giveaway bit. And then at the end, at the end of the test... Oh, my God. It's, there's so many things I did silly. So... At the beginning of the test, I walked to the wrong car, and then you have to use a token to get out of the car park, and I dropped the token. Like, I, d I don't think that was a nerves thing, I think that was just me being clumsy. Like, I dropped it, and I, it took me a minute to find it. Um, and then on the way back into the car park at the end, for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking, I just turned all the way left, and just drove into the bullards that were there. And I like... I, <laughs> I don't understand what was going on in my head. <sighs> yeah, it really... It, the whole the whole experience just frazzled my nerves, I think. And uh, it's just one of those days you'll remember. It's like not, not particularly exciting or anything. It's just... It was kind of a big deal in some ways if you pass. And I was planning on going and looking for a car this weekend. I've been looking at ones online that have like really good fuel efficiency and... Um, low emissions as well which means you don't have to pay road tax and I was sort of like anticipating maybe like you know later today and on the weekend I'll be going looking for a car and getting a car and all this and now it's like oh uh, Lena says great now the chat is filled with fail stories I'm doing my test in a month stop making me nervous uh, Lena I, I would ask you to ask your instructor to do a lesson like it were a test which is not what I had I don't think it would help tremendously but um, of all the learning I had, we we sort of did the stuff you'd do on tests, but didn't do it like it was a test. And I think that could have made a big difference, because I think you need to be ready for just sitting there in silence and purely focusing on what you're doing. And another thing is, like, you're going to feel nervous whatever way there is, so don't, don't make a big deal out of it. Like, I, I didn't make a big deal out of it, and I still just goofed. <laughs> Angry K9 says, in other words, when you're in X's town, be sure to stay off the sidewalks. Yep. <laughs> Thank goodness for those bullards. There weren't people around, so they would have been safe. X, what do you think about electric cars, says uh, Dario MK Twitch. Some of the cars I've been looking at are hybrids, but hybrids are pretty much out of my price range if you want, you know, something decent. Um, and the other problem with those are, is that it's alright with them, yeah, using electricity, but the, the electricity has to come from a clean source then, which is, you know, not always guaranteeable, I guess. That's great, that's got a real basement feel about it, and to be fair, I feel like the Midori really just doesn't fit in at all. I think I might just have to be smart and scrap it completely, but we'll, we'll wait until we've built more of this room to see where it goes. Uh, Empire Mass says, hey X, what are you building? We're building the basement of our base. <laughs> the basement of our base, it sounds strange to say that. I think what we need here first is just a big dig. need to just take out an entire wall and then hit it all in one go. So, if I do want to do that, let's start at this height here. I want to read some more some more stories. Uh, the Undis says, my advice on driving test is to try and stay calm. Chat with the instructor or listen to low radio, whatever. Just try not to make a big deal out of it. Dude, I don't think you could turn on the radio in a, in a driving test. 
I, I would not recommend that. I, ha I have driven with music. When I drive, I will be a driver with music on, and I know this, and I do not want to make it something um, that distracts my attention from the road, but I've, I've sort of found that I'm pretty good at driving with music because, no surprise, music just lets me concentrate, just like it does with everything else I do. Like, it's much easier for me to focus on something if there's noise, um, sometimes that can be like ambient droning noise, like if you want to go to sleep or if you want to read a book. And then if I'm just doing stuff that's creative, like playing this game, there's got to be music on. I'll do so much better if there's music on. And it's the same for driving, but I don't think you do that while you're in a test. I think that would be a bad idea. There we go. If you switch the radio on, it's an instant fail, says Harrington Little. <laughs> yeah. Rocky Avalon says, do you have a provisional license? If so, I'd recommend driving around with a friend. Uh, I've done that um, as well, Rocky. I, I've, I'm insured on my mum's car, so I drive around with my mum a lot. That actually made a huge difference. It was when I started driving with my mum that a lot of stuff clicked, because then I was driving like three or four times a week instead of once. And... Oh yeah, another option I have with buying a car is buying my mum's car off of her because she wants a new one. Um, so I've got options when it comes to getting a car. I was I was really hoping it would be this weekend, you know. I'm really gutted now, and that's why I got a little bit more time on my hands because I'm like ahead of myself, making sure I was prepared for all of that. X, do you listen to music when you record? Says Diamond Seeker. Yeah, I listen to music constantly. I'm literally a music addict. If I don't hear music in a day, I'll start to shake and shiver. That's not an exaggeration. It really isn't. I constantly got music playing wherever I am. And that'll be the same with my car. I'm going to hook it up so it's just like in my house. When I walk into my house, my phone starts streaming music to uh, my speakers. It'll be like that with my car. As soon as I turn it on, all I want to hear is music. Whatever I've got going, I'm listening to it there. Uh, Tree says, are you a car fanatic, X? I'm actually the opposite. I really dislike cars and car culture. Um, I, I'm using my car to get around because I need it. I don't really like, uh, you know, cars in general. I think they're incredibly inefficient and terrible form of transport. Which, like, inefficient. As I've said before, we're not doing a deep stream now, but inefficiency is the mechanic of capitalism. Ine inefficiency means exploitation. You can make more money off of an inefficient system, you know? Like, if cars never broke down and they used. Renewable energy resources, uh, energy resources. Um, if they weren't for individual use, and they were like you know lots of buses and uh, multi-person transport, all those things equal efficiency. All those things me mean conserving resources, and those things are just not profitable. Which is why I don't like cars. Cars are sort of like the pinnacle of that in a way, you know, me and my big car driving around the city, guzzling gas so I can get from A to B, whereas if everyone used public transport, you know, and public services were better, um, the impact on the planet is far greater, far greater if people use public transport together properly and have a proper system for it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's have a look. Lots of people. <laughs> Demon Pixel says, "How can people here write more than once for 90 second hackers?" Hey, maybe it's maybe it's multiple people asking the same question. Have I done that completely wrong? Uh, I haven't. I didn't have to do it. In fact, I think I can just fill in that entire space with these blocks, and they still end up with the same like footprint, so to speak. Hey X, when is Efo getting his boss? Soon. I know it's in the works, just don't know when it's going to be released. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here, you! Jesus, creeping up on me with your undead self. Oh. Right, gonna have uh, gonna have a sip of tea again. Green Wolf Gamer says I had money to save up for driving lessons. Then my college took us to see a presentation about deadly car accidents. It kind of put me off. Uh, brought a PSP instead. Ten years later, PSP. Is long gone, and I still haven't had a driving lesson. Lesson. I wouldn't worry about it until you need it. You know, I like, think ahead a little bit. Like if, uh, like I could have probably have done with learning to drive a couple of months earlier. Would have made things more convenient moving out. But, um, you know, like, like think ahead a bit though, because 
you gotta you gotta look after yourself at some point and that becomes slightly more difficult if you don't have a car. Husky Gamer says, Holy X, you scared me. Sorry, buddy. To all the people asking how old I am, I, I don't I don't tell everyone how old I am. It's just just something I don't do. You know? You'll have to guess. You'll have to use amazing brain powers and guesswork. I love this song. I love the way Byro samples these vocal clips, like... It's like you almost hear some lyrics or a word, but you get a melody out of it. It's great. It's great. Oops. I think that's actually in the right place, is it? Yeah, it is. Funny enough. Boom, because you can do it like that. I think I'm just going to leave gaps. I can't be bothered to fill everything in. I'm starting to feel like there should be some, there should be room here for something. Yeah, there should. What about motorcycles? If you only ever drive by yourself, it's way more efficient than a car, says engineer. I was thinking that the other day um, because, like, I I never liked cars, right? I've never liked cars, never liked being near cars, cycled near cars, almost been hit by cars, you know, not, not much of a car person, me. And then when it comes to motorcycles, much more appealing, um, but you need to know how to drive on the road. And I, I just don't like cars, so I hated the idea of driving alongside them. But now that I know how to drive one and I understand how the road system works, I would certainly be more inclined for a motorcycle. And I could actually go and just get a motorcycle license, right, and take a test and you can drive motorcycles very easy in this country, which I find a little bit strange, but that's how it goes. Um, but they're dangerous. I feel like they're dangerous. Like I, I felt that as a cyclist, you know, like having these big hunks of metal death box, like just float down streets near you. It's like it's kind of crazy being on a bike on the road, and I feel like that would be the same on a motorbike. And you'd have to mingle more with the traffic as well. Uh, Nebulous says, just jumped on your live stream, Asuma. My girlfriend is sitting on my bed behind me, and as soon as your voice came out of the speaker, she yelled, What the hell is a voice of... Wait, what the hell of a voice is this? Jeez, is someone criticising my voice? Oh, oh, I feel, I feel so sad now. <laughs> Not really. Uh, let's place down some more of these ones. What kind of voice is this? Jeez, it's one that talks. Leave me alone. <laughs> right, I'm only messing about. Um... This looks good. I like the design we came up with. It, it really looks like a garage. I feel like these could flip up and there'll be a car behind it. Ultimate Badass Andy says, Motorcycle? You mean death machine? Yeah, literally, death machine. Although the death machines are cars, in my opinion. <laughs> Cyberdice says, I thought you liked metal and death. I like death metal and metal. Not so keen on death, though. Oh. Uh, Binke says, Those layered andesite stone bricks look like roller shutters. Lit he's reading my mind, literally. Uh, <laughs> Hypno's in chat, he says, nice voice X, lol. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh. Hypno, I'm going to raid you later. I imagine Hypno will start streaming later. He usually uh, streams in the in the this time of day, I believe. Let's have a look. So we need more chiseled stone, and then we need... Oh, that's, that's got andesite. We must have run out of andesite as well. Actually, let's get rid of those ones. And the site layers. Uh, Halt Love says, Dude, my country using motorcycles more than car. That's that's true of some countries, yes. It's definitely probably more fish. Well, I'm not sure if it's more efficient than cars, actually, in some regards. It probably is overall, because... Oh, these are the ones I'm supposed to be placing out, like, sparsely. And then the chisel goed in like that. Um, you've got to think, like... Car's bigger, so it uses more resources to create, and it probably guzzles more gas. But if you're actually transporting four people around in a car, it's probably better than four motorcycles, right? But usually, what you see is one person driving in a four-person car over and over again. That's why I want to get one of these like um, mini cars. They're like like the boot is where other people sit, and then you fold down the seats to put things in in the boot. They're like half the length of a regular car, and they do 60 miles to the gallon, and they have less than a hundred. Uh, milligrams of carbon emissions per I can't remember what the measuring unit is 
But they do good. They do good on that front. That's what they do. Japan uses motorcycles, says Dane Raven. <laughs> yes, they do. They use motorcycles. Like a tote or IQ, says uh, Midgelefin. Yes, I've had that car recommended to me, but where I've been shopping online, I can't find them in my price range, so I've got a feeling that's one of those too modern for me sort of cars. Swiss Piplup says, I like when there's a stream when I'm not expecting a stream from UX. It makes my day. That's good, buddy. That's good. I'm glad, glad uh, your day be made. My day hasn't been made. <laughs> oh, my day's just been... Uh, like... Oh. Oops. <laughs> I, I could sort of see myself there as it was lagging, swinging too high up. X, would you rather cure cancer or make infinite clean power source? That's a that's a really like of all the um of all the of all the like questions proposed in chat like the that's that's a good one. I like that one. And my answer I think would be I would go for clean power because um I feel like that would that would help solve the cancer problem. If we had infinite clean power source, we would eliminate uh, the companies that use fossil fuels like we'd, we'd put them out of business like imagine if we did actually get infinite fuel clean you know energy let's say you know you're 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 the I don't know superhero of the universe right you can cure cancer you can go here's how you cure cancer and we go cheers thanks everyone's cured great or, or you can go or this is how you you know make energy appear out of nothing and we go oh wow cheers thanks for that like if we had a choice if like you, as the superhero of the universe, would become a target of all sorts of propaganda and, like, a smear campaign. Like, li literally. I'm not kidding. In fact, probably for curing cancer as well, it would be the same thing. Because there are industries with their um, interests nested in in fossil fuels, right? So you come out with this, okay, I'm going to share to make, you know, clean renewable energy. And they will lobby against it. They will try and make it illegal to use this clean energy source and... And like, so if you gave us that, we'd, it wouldn't like, it wouldn't like solve the world's problems overnight. There would be a huge resistance from uh, all the oil industry for using this new, clean, free, renewable energy source. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it me, or has we gone a bit further back that time? No, it just it ends up going three black, three blocks back in total, doesn't it? Abros V says, deep stream incoming. It does sound like there's a little bit of deepness creeping out again, doesn't it? Uh, Rocky Avalon says, cure cancer from lack of emissions. If you believe the two are linked, that would be true. Uh, Angry K9 says, I agree with you, X on the clean power. Unfortunately, in a world that is profit driven, people who are sick are far more profitable than people who are healthy. This is why we rely on fossil fuels, in my opinion. Um, I, If you believe that people's health is linked, I'd say it's, it's definitely true that they'd be linked, you know. Living in a world with burning fuels around you all the time. Uh, Rem was telling me that after he moved out from London, he could really feel like the difference of uh, of breathing in clean air every day. Because, you know, uh, London's full of streets. There's lots of people. There's lots of cars driving around constantly. I don't think the two would be directly linked like a conspiracy theory air quotes. Uh, but when it, comes to, when it comes to the healthcare system, there is undoubtedly some questions about uh, how healthcare is run and how people's healths are directly being exploited you can go out there and you can find all sorts of horror stories i remember uh, i remember like watching this one documentary about like this woman and like you know bless her soul she's like crying throughout the whole thing telling this story about how her insurance company absolutely refused to pay treatment um to her husband who was really ill and the doctors said they needed a particular type of medication and then the insurance people said that no they wouldn't cover it and they couldn't afford it and that he would be fine and you know later on the guy died and that's that's because of profit margins that's because they the company wanted to make extra bucks you know they wanted to give out as little as they could and it put someone's health in the line of fire so to speak and it was like heartbreaking to watch. Adventure Night 3 says, X does not respond to any of us. That's true, Adventure Night. I uh, I don't respond to anyone in chat. Ever. Ever at all. Uh, not Nitro says, 
The drug companies would be lobby against the cure for cancer too. Yes, they would because all of their treatment for cancer. There's there's a lot of people out there that think that cancer is curable, um, and but the cure isn't profitable. Therefore, it's not shared with people. I I sort of like I can understand where they're coming from, and then you have to go and look at loads of independent research and. Each research is being credited or discredited by someone else. It becomes a bit fuzzy when you try and look into it to find out for real. But like the theory holds up though, doesn't it? You know, and it shows you that there is a problem, and that there'll always be a problem under that system. Right, I'm gonna drink some tea. Uh, is it Charlivar says, would you stream on YouTube? I won't, unfortunately, because I have a Twitch contract. Uh, I'm Kentucky, Kentucky and one of our largest exports are coal. Lots of families I know have jobs uh, in its careers but in that area started to dip down as asbestos from the mines have caused lung cancer in the miners and people working in that area. Mm. Sorry to hear that buddy, it's obviously awful. Um, see the company should be responsible for their workers and should be paying for the damage that they've done to them. I'm going to guess that they probably have found a way out of that. Uh, I initially thought you were going to say like clean power would take those jobs away, which is always an interesting argument. And uh, actually, like, oh, this is this is just going in that direction now. I'm sorry, but Trump gave uh, his speech the other day, and some of it, you know, sounded like okay, this might not be too terrible. And then he started talking about uh, deregulating, which is going to be awful. You know, deregulating means taking restrictions off of companies. It's sort of like, like saying to companies, nah, you go do what you want, you know. Nah, you can you can do this and that. But he also uh, he also talked about how he wants to create jobs out of non-renewable energy resources for American people. And that is going to be bad. He's I think he's talking about like pushing back on all of the progressions that have been made towards making America a cleaner country. And uh, you know, like being someone who believes that stuff's important, like it's, it's a sad thing for me to hear that because America kind of has to lead the way on these things because it's the world's so-called superpower. And uh, the other thing is like when when you talk about like you know people's jobs being taken away because of like they work in coal and then you know coal is no longer like what we're going to use. You can understand why those people would say, no, we don't want renewable energy resources, we want to keep our jobs. Society should work in a way where people aren't pitted against each other, you know, for that. If we take care of all and one another, we find new things for those people to do, but that's, because it isn't run that way, it means it's easier for someone like Donald Trump to come in and then do something like he's going to do, which is deregulate and, uh, and push more jobs into non-renewable energy resources which is going to send us in the wrong direction. And if you don't believe in global warming, then it's probably not a problem to you. <laughs> right, I need to catch up on some resubscribes. We've got two months in a row from Helmet Fork saying early morning stream, and I get to watch while I'm at work. Awesome! Thanks to the resubscribe buddy, also Ed Network, for six months in a row, half a year, and Slagfizz for nine months in a row. Thanks for the resubscribes. Appreciate it. Uh, Poglo says, does anyone know how I can give... GB to Minecraft because I have enough on my PC, but it says I don't know uh, have enough. So how could anyone tell? You shouldn't be trying to give it gigabytes. I think you're on about gigabytes of RAM. Um, you shouldn't need to mess around with that. It should run with the default amount by default. And if it's telling you it doesn't have enough, then that probably means it doesn't. Now you could also be talking about disk space. Um, so that means Minecraft is most likely installed on your C drive. So if you don't have space on your C drive, then you need to tell it to install to a different drive. Hopefully that'll help you. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a big question here from Jason Grace saying, Asuma, what is your stance on the fact that developed countries like the United States do not want to switch to clean energy and rather stick to oil and coal while developing countries are actually spending more money than they should to secure the future and help the rest of the world? Uh, it's just an example of how you know, how, I don't know how to word that, is you, the world's messed up kind of thing, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's one of the problems, which is why you need America to lead the way, is because all these littler countries are being told, no, you can't progress by using fossil fuels. Now, in order for society to move from, like, 
through the industrial age up to this, I don't know, like electronic age or internet age or whatever, like burning fossil fuels is a part of getting there. Um, you can't really go straight to renewable energy resources. I'm not talking, well I am actually, I'm talking economically and just on uh, like technology, like you have to find the technology for these things, right? Fossil fuels, burning fossil fuels comes before learning about how bad it is and then switching over to renewable energy resources. So for all these developing countries, it's very hard for them to take the slower road, which is to use the renewable energy resources. So you need someone like America to lead the way and show people how it's done. And then when these they have their meetings and committees or whatever, it's harder for them to sort of say, well, we want to do what we want when Americans say, no, you do it like the way we're doing it, so to speak. I'm really simplifying things here. Um, so if America starts going the other way, then other countries will most likely follow. And America is always, is already by far like the biggest fossil fuel burner. Like the average person is like burning double the fossil fuels to the next person along because America is very car eccentric like you like here in the UK you can walk to your local shops you can walk to the town center um, there's bus services and stuff in America everywhere is drive 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 and, and things like that um, they add up we need to craft some more factory blocks uh, hey X would you talk about religion or is that too controversial I found it an interesting topic I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick summary I think people should have freedom of religion um, people should be free to follow, believe in religion or not. I, I personally don't follow religion. I also like do or or do not believe in God. Like it's not like a big deal to me to. Like, I don't I don't I don't see it like either way. Uh, it's, it's not it's not um. It's very similar to being agnostic. If you want to look up that word, that's how I feel about like religion and God and stuff. But we'll leave that one for another day. Uh, let's go over here. What are we do doing? Oh, I need to craft something. Factory. I need to craft some factory blocks. Then we need to dump loads of materials in here. Just like that. Nick Nasty TV says you must have never taken the bus here in the US. Lol. Yeah, I've I've seen a lot of American TV, and when people talk about the bus, it's like. It's like, oh no, the bus, lowest of low kind of attitude. That's that's the sort of impression I've got from it in general. Um, and it's not like that here in the UK. But, you know, things can be improved if, if more money is put into them. Uh, if you put more money into good bus services and people don't have to drive as much, the return is less people driving around and more people using communal transport, which means lower emissions per person. That's kind of the idea. And it's cheaper for people as well if it's done right. Argy says, Sorry if that was hard to read, but my thing about the coal industry, my brain has been derping all day and left out tons of words, plus slow chat made it hard to correct. Lol. No problem at all, man. Schmidt says, Just checked it. Uh, China has the highest carbon emission, double the US, but in the US it's highest per capita. Yeah, when I said that, I did mean per capita. Per person, America's American lifestyles are the highest in burning... Uh, fossil fuels. Uh, in China they're burning the most fire quantity because there's so many more people there. Cool Patrick says here in the Netherlands even the king takes the tram from time to time. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, royal families or monarchs um, but it's good to see someone of influence doing something like that. Yeah and uh, I think like so the Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, I think Finland to an extent. Who's the other one in that group? Let me think. Norway, Sweden, Denmark. I'm sure I'm missing a country in Sweden. Anyway, they're like really doing great on the whole uh, renewable energy resources front. Like They are like well and truly leading the way and showing a better way of how societies can be run. Scandinavia. At least I've heard nothing but great things about Scandinavia on many fronts. Many fronts, not just energy. The King of the Netherlands doesn't have a lot of influence, it's just for show, says Stonerack. Yes, but that influence can sometimes be, uh, you know, an influence over the people to an extent. 
uh, let's say, than actual direct power over something. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm commenting on, really. Just, just saying words, innit? I? I've just noticed something. Something that might be bad. So look at the texture at the end there. It wraps itself up. Now, if it went back by one block, it wouldn't do that. It's barely noticeable, but I think it actually looks better if you just don't do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just did it over there by mistake, and now I'm wondering where else have I done that, but probably nowhere, actually. Probably haven't done it anywhere else at all. Let's chisel up some more stone. Sweden's cool. Love it here, says Exivin. That's cool. Scandinavia is Nor Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, says GK. Yeah. Finland is like in the same region, but it's not part of the same group of countries, is it? I think Finland is more tied to the, uh, is it the Balkans? Scandinavia. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and the Nordics. Scandinavian, Sweden, Iceland. Oh yeah, Iceland as well. Iceland's part of that union. Um... Here in Norway, we basically use water as our power, says Mike Zores. Yes, and Norway has a beautiful environment because of the way they treat it. Which is really cool. Like, you can't... You, you can't, like, live in Norway near near its scenic areas or whatever and, and, and pollute. Like, there are so many restrictions on what you can do in those areas. I feel like I put way too much cobblestone in here. And I just tried to place some andesite and failed at doing that. Let's go back a few here. Fill it all in and it will look great. Nice. Then we've got to put sto uh, stone ceilings up the top as well. Why does he refuse to use building ones, says Jojo Craft? Because we are placing individual blocks as opposed to... Um, yeah, just filling everything in. So the building one doesn't really help us that much. With what we're trying to do here. I believe that's the way that we want to do it. Nice and easy. Rocky Avalon says, doesn't the Queen of England actually have a ton of power if she would choose to exercise it? Yep. Technically England is still in a monarch. The Queen is sort of like, you know, the ruler, but it's hands off. You're searching for facts in your inventory, says Caxio Music. For facts? <laughs> I've had some noises in my ear which I've missed. Uh, we've got a donation here, noise in the ear from Lena Boek Warham saying, Hey X, just wanted to thank you for the awesome videos you make and for the really relaxing streams. I really enjoy your content. Also, I hear you try to say my name. Hint, the Boek part is pronounced book. Okay. Lena Bookworm. <laughs> what did I say a moment ago? Lena Boek Warham. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it as always. Glad you enjoy the streams. You bookworm, you. <laughs> I can say it properly now. Uh, we've got a mysterious donation from a strange so-and-so called Ricky Rolvillion. Don't know who this person is. Sounds like a bit of a weirdo if you ask me. <laughs> uh, why not make some heart containers to bring your hearts up to 20? Also, what do you think about the impact of automation on the job market? I think it's scary, but there are some natural balancing factors such as populating falling like in Japan. Great question. Uh, Rocky, appreciate the donation as always. Uh, I will continue, we'll come back to that because I'm going to continue just with the other notifications. We've got a resubscribe 10 months in a row from Ian Balassi saying, Hey X, it's been a while since I've been able to catch a stream. New job, schedule change, how you been? I've been good, thanks for asking. If you just got here, I'm doing a stream at a strange time of day on a day that I'm not supposed to stream because I failed my driving uh, test and now I've got free time on my hands because I can't go car shopping and I feel very like disappointed but not terribly disappointed. Just It's just one of those days and so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Hop on here, have a random bonus stream so to speak and I have noticed you haven't been around so I wish you the best of your new job and thanks for the resubscribe buddy. I've also got a new subscriber with... Guy with a hat one! He's got a hat. He is a guy. Guy with one hat. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the support. As always, let's go and put some blocks there. Bang. I think that's most of those blocks placed now, with exception to a few pillars, which we'll throw in. Bam. And uh, we've also got to resubscribe for 12 months in a row. It's one year from Mumbles65 saying, I just want to say that my one year anniversary is dedicated to Wolfie, Leah, Pony, Ems, 
Randy and SD. Uh, you people are the most amazing ever. Yes. Can we get some love hearts in chat for our amazing moderators, especially Wolfie, who... Wolfie's the guy who gets a lot of the organisational stuff done, and I think that puts him in the line of fire a little bit, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but our moderators here do an amazing job, believe me. So show them some love. They're making they're making chat good for all of you. Right, we I just noticed this one is totally messed up, so we're just going to modify that quickly. Hi, come to me. Oh, don't break. Oh, I did it twice. <laughs> it did it twice. And these apparently were just stairs. Look at the wall of hearts. Amazing. Right. G get up there. Get your head in that space. There we go. And now we can get back down again. <laughs> Citycraft says, just joined. Have I missed something important? Also heart. You have. Uh, me telling stories about me driving test today. That was about it. Okay, now we're going to... Booyah. Continue working on this little room. Very cool. And I want to put these two somewhere else. We're just going to put them over on this side where they can be... Oh, well, where they will be in the future. Everything's looking good. I like it. Use a swapping wand for one for each block. First replace all blocks with chiseled stone and then swap other two randomly in one block mode. Oh, I didn't know you could put it into one block mode. Should we try that? Should we try something different then? I think we'll give it a try. Yeah, because uh, we've got a big old wall to build. Oops, I'm breaking too many blocks here. We'll give it a try, is what I'm saying. And we've got Arangelo King. The, or, the, the Oranges King. Arangelo's here back 15 months in a row saying, Wow, time passes quickly. It sure does, buddy. Good to see you still around. Uh, the Nun's Hun says, Will you be playing any other game on your second channel soon again? I love the Doom series. Really not sure about that. Really not sure. I think for December I'll probably just focus on uh, my main channel and then maybe in January we'll do some extra stuff like Portal I've been tempted to play. I also got a Steam Link. My Steam Link arrived in the post. I've been buying things a bit lately. I, uh, I got a new telly which I've been saving up for a long time. And then I brought a PlayStation for it and a Steam Link. But the Steam Link was dirt cheap. And I tell you what, it's really good. Um, Fortunately, I'd say my setup is really good for Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi being close to the computer and the Steam Link. In fact, it's wired, uh, my computer, but the Wi-Fi to the Steam Link doesn't add a lot of delay. You would probably be a little bit annoyed playing first-person shooters, but any other game, like where you don't need that sort of instantaneous feedback, it plays really well, uh, and I was really, really impressed with it. And so I've been installing lots of Steam games that I've collected over the years, and I'm going to maybe play them from time to time, chill out in front of the telly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Where were we? Anyway, I had a message to go back to. Rocky was asking about automation inf impacting the job market. So the job market, right, this is going to sound crazy, but the job market, like, is, is again, a mechanic of capitalism. Like... How can I how can I describe it? It's like unemployment and people not having jobs is a really good thing in capitalism. Sounds crazy. What you you know, people working make money. No, not quite how it works. If people are unemployed, they are easier to be uh, you know, pushed around or pushed around probably sounds like harsh, but it's sort of what I'm getting at. People will be easier to get to work in poorer conditions that means they're more exploitable when unemployment is high. So keeping a certain amount of unemployment in society is good for how it works because with unemployed, sorry, if everyone's like employed, like imagine the opposite, if everyone's employed and you go, do you know what, I don't like this, this like the conditions you're treating me here, I'm gonna go look for another job. You've got options because people, like jobs and companies are looking for people to work and everyone's employed. You know, please come and work for us, we'll pay you double, we'll pay you triple. I'm using the wrong wand. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't doesn't work like that. Like, because there is unemployment, it benefits capitalism because then they say, you know, come work for us. We'll pay you minimum wage. Uh, you won't have breaks on your shifts, and you have to work when we tell you to. And you go, well, that's rubbish. And they go, well, you know, there's there's X amount of people unemployed. We'll bring someone else in. And so unemployment and employment are part of the system. They're part of how it works. 
So when jobs are replaced by automation, it's because it's becoming profitable to do things that way instead of actually having workers, you know? Um, so until we escape a system that works like that, where the key motive is profit, it means that automation will be done as a choice to increase profit rather than for the automation to benefit everyone in society. It's just going to be the companies using automation that benefit from it. Uh, in, in a society that's run for people, then automation means more free time for everyone, right? Like if, if work was managed and split up even, evenly among the population, then when we bring automation into play, it means we reduce the overall working week, right? So people could work four days, three days a week instead because we're learning to automate things and it can create more leisure time. That's what it would lead to. But under this system, it's going to be exploited for profit. Anyway, I'll wait to hear what people think about that. Because, <laughs> right, I, I, sometimes I'm talking to myself, everyone's just like, geez, let's talk about Ark, let's talk about... Uh, look at my dab spra, says RT Flays. RT Flays on another level right there. He ain't fussing about no, uh, no capitalism, he's just checking out his dabs. <laughs> right, how do we go into single block mode? Do I, do I control scroll? None. Oh, maybe it needs a, uh, a button. Garit Sesson says, are you a communist? Uh, the answer is no. I don't believe I'm an Istorianism of any type, because if ever you say you're part of an Istorianism, you will then become someone else's idea of what that means. I'd rather just talk about an individual point and tell you my thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, Paranor 001 says, X on the same page as you. Awesome, that's good to hear. Valve the Great says I work for a company with identical factories in America, China and Mexico. The American factory labour costs 2.5 million a year. China's labour is $200,000. Disgusting. Yes, but what you'll probably see in that company is that they'll want to move their production out of America and move it over to China. Because China, you know, in China they don't pay their workers as much. So it becomes more profitable to, to move over there. It's, it's crazy how it all works. Smelly Fist says, Assumerism, great. <laughs> he is an Ismerism, says Yavelin, great. An ism or an ist, I like that, says Green Cola. <laughs> well, you are a cyclist and a YouTube artist, so yeah, you're an ist, <laughs> says Angry K9, that's great. Alright, let's um, go to controls. So, better builders one, change mode. Hi, M? No, no M for mode, button next to comma. Hello, comma to change. Ah, oh. <laughs> none mode key. This is a, this is not enough ones. Geez, not better ones. Let's go back there. Let's get rid of that one. So we've got to go all the way down to N. L M N. Not enough ones. Wand modifier. Sub mode. I don't know what that is. Let's go. Comma and period. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, oh! I did not know it went bigger. Jeez, that's amazing! Right. Oh, that changed it, didn't it? Right, so now what we need is more andesite, uh, which means we need our chisel. Personally, I'm only listening to your stream and love listening to you ramble about stuff, says Fidoki. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. If you like listening to me ramble, that's good. Because rambling be what I do, yeah? Do this stream, go to second channel, says Atif Flays. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, we got another donation noise in the ear from Rock and Rollvion. <laughs> Rock, Rock and Rollavion. Something like that. Uh, saying, also, I would love to see another exhibit style video when you finally get in a car. Uh, I was about to say, like, what would that mean? But yeah, because I pimp my ride. I don't think I'll do a car video. I don't really want to promote car culture much. Um, <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I love I love the exhibit thing. Yo, dog, we heard you like cars, so we put a car in your car. I love all those little jokes on on the internet, the little meme pictures of him as well. Uh, but Rocky, appreciate the donation as as always. Thank you. Arangelo says, got a history test to prepare for. I'll stay for like ten minutes. You prepare for your test, young man, and you ace it. You do better than anyone else. 
and it will be great. This is uh, this is actually a pretty good way of doing things, isn't it? Okay, now we've got to go for... Do you know what? I could just walk up to a wall where we've already done that. Right, and then shift click on cobble. And then do some of that again. Dude, this looks great. I love it. That looks really good. The three of those work so well together. Creeper alert. He's in my base. I'm eating a steak. That's not a good strategy right now. X, what do you think of national wage? Says SPC MRF. Smook. No, S SPC Smurf. Uh, I believe national minimum wage should should be increased. Although when you say that, like like we were saying a second ago, if you, if if America all of a sudden increased its national wage, like doubled it across the board, like so many companies would close down and and move somewhere else. Like the the movement has to be like global for it to work. Yes, I'm doing this bit differently. Doing it differently. I know I'm doing it differently. I'm doing it doing it back to the old way of doing it. Stop moaning about it. Right, that wall's done. <laughs> that's all of them. Hey, that's all of the walls done. That was the last one. Right, that's good. Cool, so what do we do next is the question. I think it's going to be more boring roof stuff. But we could also dig downwards as well. As we need to uh, clear out a lot of this area. Psycho Bean Cakes says, first time watching your stream. Thank you for putting out quality videos. There are not many people. I let my children watch. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Uh, just so you know, though, like my 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 kind of thing is, I'm not really into censorship. Like, you, you might find it hard to believe, but I'm like not offended by swearing or like really care that much about it. It's just like I choose not to do myself. So I don't swear in my videos, and it rarely happens. But on occasions in the past, I've recorded with someone who swears, and I, I don't believe in censorship. Just self censorship. The sixth danger zone says communism only works on paper. That almost sounds like a joke. Uh, like, the reality is no one will know if communism will work or not because it's never been a global system. I don't think, I don't think anything particularly works because there's always something you can do better. Like, did monarchies ever work? Did feudal systems work? Like, there's always every every system has its pluses and its minuses. Uh, yeah. Right, let's uh, drink some tea. Ouija Ben says also, Trump's strategy would lead to hyperinflation, which is a really scary thing. I don't know too much about how inflation works, so I've got like probably a vague understanding of it. You could be right. The main thing that he said is deregulation. Deregulation means that you're going to take away uh, restrictions imposed on companies and, and rules and regulations. That's why it's deregulation. It's what Reagan done, and it like destroyed many parts of... Uh, of Americans culture or society however you want to look at it but what's so bad about it is it means that we can't you can't use a governmental system to say okay like this isn't the most profitable thing ever but hey there's these other really important reasons we shouldn't do that like the environment and you know health and safety etc if you deregulate, you take away those incentives, those those reasons to do things that way. This hasn't been hooked up for ages, I've just noticed. So, uh, one of the things we really need to do is rebuild this, and I wanted to do a little bit of it now, but we haven't really finished this area, which makes me think how we can actually finish it, because it definitely needs to go lower. Maybe we'll just start by digging down a little bit. Engineer says, if you raise minimum wage too much at once, you have to increase many wage to prevent low-skilled jobs like McDonald's earning as much as high-skilled labour and carpentry. And as you raise too many wages, you get inflation. Yes, engineer, you're 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 absolutely right. But again, these are all like reactions to how the whole thing is set up. Like increased wages is talking about taking back, you know, money from the one percent and giving it to the general population it's a mechanic for doing that so like it, yeah it like in retaliation to that they will create a problem back so if you if you raise the wages of McDonald's workers 
McDonald's will retaliate with something else, right? Like, they're not just going to go, okay, have the money. It's like, they'll find a way. They'll, oh, we're going to have to put up all the prices then. And then, it's, it's complicated stuff. X, can't you try using a tinker's hammer to lower the floor? I could, yeah, yeah. Just just got to do some digging, haven't I? I love cats, because uh, can anyone tell me what X is rambling about? I don't even know what I'm rambling about anymore. I don't even know what I'm rambling about. Uh, Erwin Gaming, Game Along says, I can't understand what they're talking about. My brain is about to explode. Uh, things like inflation, wages, and all this sort of stuff, they're all like economic terms. Economics can be pretty... Ugh. If you don't understand the impl implications of, of what they're about. Right. Uh, Jochum Brokev says, X, already found a manner to open the dimlet parcels automatically? Uh, I haven't, but it's, it's just one of those things that's on the list at this point, and I haven't really organised this area very well in which to expand and do little projects and stuff, so that's kind of something I'm working on. Or will be working on. Okay, I guess I guess right now I'm umming and ahhing. There's not really too much to discuss. I should just use this thing um, and dig down and see... Where does it want to go? There? Yeah, dig down a couple of blocks and then do it again over here until we get a... You know, that's not quite where I wanted to go. Just until we get a feel for where we want this to go. I think I'm actually just going to use this because that hammer is just going to use too much like precision. You've got to be precise with it. No, uh, uh, any No Man's Sky plan, says Abu Madale. Nah, not really. Uh, that update didn't sound very interesting. So I'm not going to bother with it. Ouija Ben says inflation means a general increase in prices and the fall of value of money. Uh, you can buy it less with one dollar. Yeah, and I think a, when the way you said that then made me like think of a clear way to explain it. Inflation affects the poor. It doesn't affect it doesn't affect the rich, which is why a mechanic like that is so prevalent in uh, in the current state of economics. Because yeah, it like it it's no problem if you're rich. Like inflation ain't a problem when you're rich. You know, it affects the masses and keeps them poor. That might make sense to you, that might not. I think we should probably stop with the economics now. It sounds like a few people are getting headaches. Okay, um... Wow, my imagery is really filled up with stuff, isn't it? So would this make a good height for the floor? I feel like that... Maybe just one block lower. What size is this stuff? Like, three, four... Yeah, maybe... Maybe that would work. Let's take these out. Get our factory blocks back. Instead of raising wages, lower prices, says someone with no name. So yeah, it's all part of the same problem again. Like, the reason prices aren't low is because they're taking big profits from the things that they're selling. It's all sort of like one and the same problem. Stone Rack says, me head hurts. I love cats, no need to apologise, no need. Inflation, oh, I should really probably stop with the uh, <laughs> economic stuff. It's going to drive everyone mad. It's going to drive everyone mad. Hey Asuma, Tango from Leeds, back to catch another live stream. Thank you for uh, a day off from work, says Tango Cap. Thanks for tuning in, bud. Uh, that's that's just going to look ugly right there. This is this is where we need to get smart. We need to to definitely get smart. Smart is good. What if we brought it across like that and then had a grill? Uh, that's actually the same height as we were at before, so definitely needs to come at least one block lower. Oops. Well, actually, that might be where it meets up with the Midori, and I. think I think, let's have a look, no, I don't have a number, Dory. Mm, I feel like it does actually need to go one block lower. Let's, let's remove all of this stuff again. <laughs> uh, people are leaving because you talk about economics, says Javelin. Yep, yep, probably.
Let's uh yeah, let's just drop it for now. I've had I've had me share of deep stream stuff lately. <laughs> X, do you like space stuff? I love things to do with space. Space is fascinating, man. I love cats. Says, just came back home from a friend's house. I helped him because his dog was put down today, and I'm very emotional right now. Can you guys? Can you guys love me? <laughs> uh, wow, I always hated those comments, but I need it right now. Let's put some love hearts in chat for I love cats who helped his uh, friend put down a dog. That's a tough thing to do, man. But that, do you know what that means? It means you're a good friend, right there. Helping, uh, helping a friend out when they need it. So pat yourself on the back for that at least. Uh, X, have you played Planet Coaster? I think that'll be a great idea for a series or stream, says Jimmy. I have played it. It's one of those early release games that just burned me out really quickly. It's like, I played it when there was very little for it to offer, and now I've just got no interest in it, which is... Something that seems to happen again and again with all these early access games, but everyone's just loving doing early access, and you play it when it's like hardly a game, and then you're bored of it before you know it. Man, just instantly all this stuff picks up. I should probably start using the backpacks, to be fair. I think that'd make a really good difference here. Let's not just say that, let's actually try it as well. Uh, wrong one. This one. Oh, the hunting one. I never need that. X, have you done any more work on your wither farms, says Monty? Very little, like... Yeah, very little stuff. So, you know, stuff's been done, just not a lot, really. Okay, so... What if we're standing at this height? How does that feel? That, that kind of feels like the correct floor height there. So what I want to really do is put something like a, a grill down here, like you might have seen before, and have something under it. I keep thinking lava. <laughs> uh, by the way, we've got a donation here, noise in the ear from JMB Rock 1985, saying love your streams and the Hermit Pack. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. We also got a resubscribe from Stomp and Smash for four months in a row. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Purple. Purple Roy Bow Pig says, "Is there any reason for streaming this early?" Love it though. Uh, just yeah, there is the uh, the whole driving thing. Just made me wanted to just do something different, get my mind out of that space for a while. Couldn't really like record a video, but wanted to play some Minecraft, so I thought we'd do it like this. Do you know what? I'm just gonna break that Midori block, cause I'm a rebel. Oops, broke some of those factory blocks as well. Big old trench down here now. So what's it gonna look like? Oh, actually, we need both those things. Like, if we have that go straight into there, it's not as cluttered, the texture. And then now, it looks more reasonable. Probably going to stick with that one. It's the same as up above as well. Alright, yeah, we're going to go with that for now. Let's just keep digging out more stuff, I reckon. It's the way to go. Oh, clay. Clay, is it? We'll just mash all of that up with this thing. I'm surprised this gal hasn't made a Dorite voiding system in modded yet, says say my username. <laughs> yeah, that would be very Iskal, wouldn't it? This gal's been playing on here a lot. What are you doing, X? Says Winterstorm Gaming. We're working on our basement. I was hoping to do some technical stuff today, but this stuff is really slow. Maybe we'll save that for the next stream. And uh, a thought crossed my mind today. I, I was honestly waiting for someone to mention it in chat, uh, but I thought for Christmas we could do like a stream every other, sorry, every day up until Christmas. Now, don't get your hopes up. I, if I had planned ahead a little bit, maybe that could have been something we had done. But this, this year I didn't really have any Christmas plans. You see, last year I did the advent calendar with Mumbo. And leading up, I kept thinking, like, got to do something for Christmas, but couldn't really think of something special. Didn't want to do a redstone calendar thing again. So I decided, you know what, let's just let's just keep doing the videos like we're doing them, not think about it too much. And then, then today, when I thought I could stream today, and then I thought, and if I kept streaming all the way up to Christmas, it'd be, like, a really cool thing to do. So maybe next year we do that, like our special thing leading up to Christmas will be like a stream every day, but I ain't going to do it this year unfortunately. It's just not going to work out. 
Uh, Iskow should try the Sortex Resort Attach. Maybe he will learn to love Dorite again. I don't think that man can ever be taught to like Dorite. He hates it with a passion. He squirms at the sight of it. <laughs> you should prank Iskow, cover his whole base with Dorite, says SPC Smurf. Um, you know, a prank like that is kind of obvious. But I, I feel like it has to be more than just cover it. It's got to be like, you've got to come up with something clever and really coming up with like a clever idea. You know like when Mumbo did Shrek, like 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 build a giant Durrite snowman. <laughs> and call him the poop man. That sounds actually like a really good idea. I've already built one giant snowman recently, so I know what I'm doing. Sounds kinda hilarious. <laughs> twelve days of hermit pack sounds good, says Ham Toasty. Oh yeah, I could do like a twelve day Christmas countdown. Maybe, maybe if something good happens, like, because basically I've got to look at it like this. If I'm going to dedicate a few extra hours every day, then I need my videos to be made in less time. Which, unless... <gasps> what? Did that really break? Did that, I, I didn't even notice. Oh man, that's not good. I I was looking at chat. I was looking at chat. There weren't like a single warning. I didn't I didn't notice it getting low. It does need uh, XP to keep going. Jeez, that's really bad. Bye bye Paxel, I guess. Well, I guess we've got to work on that now. Uh, Miss Strugger says X make a powered spawner. That spawns creepers, then autocraft it into TNT, generate sand with vanilla sand generator, make a TNT mining thing into a resourceful dimension. You get a lot of resources. Also, use the TNT to kill other spawners. Maybe I'm obsessed about getting the making tools. I don't think that's the most straightforward way of doing it. I don't know, really. It might it might be good, might not. I'm not sure. Jeez, I can't believe our Paxel just broke. Looks like looks like we're gonna have to make another Paxel. There we go. Uh, we can... Hmm, let's have a look how much osseum we got. Lots. Oh, there's also this thing as well. Which looks like another equivalent of, but it does attack damage. Sorry, attack. I think it's more of a weapon as well. This, this is a bit of a weapon. Anyway, I guess we need that. So we'll take one of those, one of those, oh and that's it because I didn't put it back, and one of those. And now we can make the Osseum. Sweet, there's our Paxel. And uh, now we've got to put all those enchantments on it again. Great, that's going to take a while. You could build a drill from actually additions that combine both stone and dirt, says that's a nil. Yep, there's loads of tools in this game, but I like using the ones that I've got. Okay, let's have a look. So, oh my goodness me, we need some books. Book and quill, even. There it is. Aha, we also need some books, apparently. Don't think we can need more than that. Question is, what enchantments did that other thing have? Right, there we go. Six books. What are we going to put on this thing? Osmium, says Make It Rain. Osmium. Sorry, <laughs> I got it wrong. So we don't need anything there. Just go through this one by one. Best way to do it. In case you miss something. No need for fawns, I think. Now, I think I put sharpness on it. Make it into a weapon. No, or did it not let me? I've got a feeling it won't let me put sharpness on. Or knockback or anything like that. So it doesn't really start until you get to the 10th page. So redstone and lapis. Slime and lapis. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll put fortune on this one actually. We did we did silk touch for a while. Maybe I should have like a silk touch paxium and a I don't know. I can't make up my mind. Let's go um Lapis. There we go, lots of that, and quartz was, no, quartz was sharpness, which it won't let us do. 
Slime as the Silk Touch. We probably will do that. We probably will. Unbreaking says I love cats. I believe that's Obsidian. So, Redstone. I didn't... Oh, jeez, man. I didn't get the Redstone. What's going on? Also, I believe we need some Obsidian. Which I have a lot of because I've been trading with Biffa. Zaya says, peeps, I need help. If you don't tell us what you need help with, we won't be able to help you. Same with username 2 says, hey X, did you see a Scal's video where you pranked Ren with the calamari farm? Yeah, I think I, that was like well early on, wasn't it? I think I saw that. Efficiency 5, be 33 levels. Whoops. There we go. Hi, thanks. Silk Touch next. Just 13 levels for that. And now we've got to go back into this thing. So what were we up to? Like page 10? Yep. And then one of those things. Experience rod. Uh, I believe that is solarium. And... Oh, hi. Is it... Mm, it's not enriched. Or oh, maybe it is enriched. It's energetic alloy. There we go. So we've got the mending sorted out. What was the other one? Forgotten already. Actually, it was obsidian. Uh, Snarfed off, he says, Mending Soulbound. Yeah, the Soulbound would be good. What I'd love is if it were completely unbreakable. That was the other enchantment we did actually need. Right, so this one, 21 levels. I got 21 levels to go. <laughs> and then Obsidian. Before I'm breaking free. Okay, and now we want to check on... Did we get them all? Fortune? Not getting that. Power? No. Nope. Punch? Flame? No. Nope. Infinity? Luck of the sea? No. Nope. Lure? And Soulbound! I think, I think we won't bother with Soulbound right now. Actually, wait a minute. Do I have one of those crystals just lying around? I do. <laughs> so we might as well craft one. Okay then, was I supposed to do one other thing? That's not it. Oh, he's using his wither farm again. Biffa's wither farm. Tea reminders in chat. Thank you, peeps. Let's drink some tea. Mmm. Ouija Ben says, only if en enchanting in vanilla is as predictable as this. Yeah, this is this is different though. Like, modded's just such a very different game. Hi. Need levels. This song is cool. Super cool. Can we put Silk Touch on it? We can. Why am I thinking we missed one here? No, which way is that supposed to go? That is unfortunate, Biffa. I have deliberately not used my Wither Farm in between going in and out of the world because of, because of that. <laughs> Okay, I'm breaking, and then mending. Coolio, let's go double check this. While you're at the base, consider a player interface to auto-clean your inventory, says Soylent. I've seen a player interface mentioned a couple of times. I don't really know what it is. Ender crystal, it is that one. Why wouldn't it make me a book? <laughs> Why no book for X? What's going on? Yeah, it was just four of them. Did I miss out something important? Ah, now it'll do it. Okay, so now it can be soul bound to us forever. Does that make you happy? It won't be lost on death, that's pretty cool. These things can go up there now. Uh, the obsidian can go back and the book and quill. Very cool, very cool. Let's get back down below. That was a little bit of a distraction, didn't it? Also, mobs might spawn down here now. Nope, nothing. You didn't have enough lapis, says uh, Snarf Dolph. You are correct. You are correct. 
Shame it's not unbreakable, Kappa, says Ham Toasty. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Uh, we need some more factory blocks, which I think means we've got to go craft them. Be nice if the portable terminal was uh, craftable. Booyah! We'll have three of those. Very good. Very good indeed. Shane Slat says, why is the streamer su uh, Suma streaming now? LOL! LOL indeed! Why am I streaming now? What's going on? Just felt like streaming, man. What's wrong with that? Believe that is where the next circle starts. Okay, so... Hmm, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, I feel like this, this, this grid that we got going on really sort of detracts from having a floor vibe. In fact, I think we'd be smart to leave it open there. So we need to find something to fill in this space. I reckon we're going to go for iron. We've got to look at some uh, textures again now. Let's try this one. That one there actually probably looks pretty cool. And I'm not sure what else are connected. Let's actually give that one a try. And where's our builder's wand? Hi, go away. <laughs> hmm. What do all of you think? What should be what should we be doing with this space? I'm not sure, it's starting to get a bit weird. Wrap the wall texture around onto a door, says not in Hytro. I think these are just going to be walls. The opening areas will be the big bits in the middle. Yvelin says, I wish you could do this timing more often. It's just right for us in the Far East. Uh, it w unfortunately, it will be quite unlikely that I ever stream at this time on a regular basis. Uh, meh. From Flora 99 there. Just meh. <laughs> Can't even bother to say no, just a meh. It is a bit meh, isn't it? So, going, yeah, like going all the way up to the wall like that just doesn't really do anything, is the problem. Uh, the wall itself would come down though, so if this stuff was a border, it might not look too terrible like that. Let's, uh, let's go like that. Right, chiselled. Uh, wait, which one's andesite? They're both stone. What's going on? Where's the andesite? There it is. Jeez, had me panicking. Nah, it's just blocks. Okay, so I feel like yeah, like that coming down and just stopping there kind of works. Maybe, maybe what we need to do now is ditch this like bigger element here. Uh, maybe actually that's where it ends. I don't know. Let's bring that one back. So like instead of doing that, we do these ones. Hmm, that texture doesn't really do a lot. Do you know? What? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to Iskal's base because Iskal like does some great stuff with the industrial textures, and I feel like if we take a look at what he's got going on, we'll be able to open our mind on the way thinking a bit. Uh, Mad Penguin MC says extra just a hint, but us UK peeps aren't finished until school to about four-ish. So would you mind streaming later for bonus ones? I no, I just like the stream wasn't really about when. It was just like, hey, I'm gonna stream right now, you know? Spontaneous, man. Jeez, X, how many 64 storage cells do you have in your system? Ha! Says noob name Noob. None. <laughs> I, I don't have a single 64k storage cell. As it goes. Uh, oh wait, I've come to the ziggurat in the middle. Uh, we've got a nation here, noise in the ear from I Love Cats saying, X, read what the mods say when they're trying to contact you, derp. I can't. The, the message thing doesn't work. Unfortunately. Uh, on this chat, I can't see it at all. Uh, oh, that's right. Iskal's base lags like mad. That sounded like a lot of pigment, and that doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, <laughs> the lag's real. This is choppy as. 
Oh, something bad's happening. I've got a feeling there's an entity pile up somewhere here. Look at that. That's terrible. It's a slideshow. I also can't use this little uh, thing he's got going on there, the menu. Let's go this way. That texture is nice. I mean, what are we looking for here, really? Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Floors. We're getting to the floor part of our area here, aren't we? What's interesting is you just left the walls of stone, and it kind of works really well. Okay. Uh, so that cro What are these blocks? I want to know. I want to know what they are, and I don't want to break something. Jeez, this is so choppy. I can't do next to nothing here. Look at that, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I think I know what this block is, but I don't think it's the one. That dark colour is nice. Zigzag basalt. Zigzag basalt. I want to know what these ones here are. They don't look like they're a technical structure to me. I think we're fine to break them. I think this is all for show. Uh, uh. <laughs> Up. I'm holding space bar. Right, now we go. Right, okay. You are from Immersive Engineering. Block of Steel. Let's look that up. Bam! I can't really farm steel yet. <laughs> uh block of steel there. There's a lighter one. Maybe you found maybe you found another texture that looks the same. This is just probably going to be block of iron, isn't it? From immersive engineering. So that's immersive engineering. I don't see block of steel. High voltage coil block. Block of steel. Block of nickel. Probably it's probably one of those things, isn't it? Block of aluminium. Okay, so the dark basalt has been an interesting thing, and I really like these fence posts. And and that's the this stuff up here is awesome. God, the frames in this base are unbearable. Come on, bam! Steel scaffolding, another immersive engineering. I don't really have steel set up. I'm going to guess they're probably steel as well, aren't they? What's the steel stuff going on? What's going on over here? Ugh, so choppy. Oh, this grid is uh, pretty cool. Let's break this and see what this is. I've got a feeling it's going to be one of his own. Yep, chiseled basalt. Uh, Leah Lair says, assuming your moderators and other people in chat have been messaging you in Mod World's Night and you constantly ignored it. Cat's talking to you about general chat and whispers. I don't ignore it. I, I haven't seen those messages. Um, I can't touch chat right now because I've got the custom chat open. So I'll have to wait. I'll we'll have to wait. I don't even know what this stuff is. Right, so I feel like we've come away with basalt. Maybe this material here. Then it appears to be some more chisel and bits. I wonder if they're like. It sounds weird to say it actually, but it doesn't feel like it's lagging when you don't move. But like, look at the texture. The texture's fine. I don't know what's causing this lag. Uh, is I, I think I believe there's another floor of this base. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna have to play around with basalt. Same blocks again, those steel ones. Cool. <laughs> Everything here is cool. Can we just like press a button? Oh, no. Left click. Is it doing it's like oh, you left click it? Oh, I didn't realise. This is where I wanted to come to. Like what block is that? That looks alright. That's a floor block if I ever saw one. It is oh another one from immersive engineering. I rolled over that a moment ago and it caught my attention. That's that works nice with that one there. Interesting. Everything's interesting, but that pipe there is mad. <laughs> the steel crates are just awesome. 
I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure how we're going to do it. But that's why we take our time with this stuff. Uh, ooh. That's cool. Hey, there's a bunny! Hello, bunny. This is very cool here. I think I think the biggest thing we can take from this is like how open it is here. Like I think it's the like the the factory comes into the caves that makes that bit there work. Come on, fly. This bit it's sort of similar but a little bit more structured. A lot of darkness going on. I'm really not sure what I should be taking from this and thinking about as we move forward. Um, so we kind of blitz through this bit here as well. Lots of similar textures being used. I feel like maybe it's the structure of the room that's really works in his favour. One thing he doesn't have is those pillars coming down. I think those like there's no there's no What is that sound? There's no like intrusive pillars that take away from the wall space. It's like the wall is the wall. Press F3 to see block ID, says Patrick Soup. Great idea, I should have done that. Whose base is this, says Cloudberg Gaming? It's Iskow's, Iskow85. Why don't you use the fans, says Ghost Manda. The fans I will use, but where to put them? Probably, probably on those... In fact, what if we made the fan blocks... What if we painted the fan blocks and turned them into light sources? That would be pretty super-duper spectacular, would it not? I think that would be super-duper spectacular. So let's grab some of the glow that stones... I mean, some of the stone that glows. Jeez, get your words right, man. Okay, and... Uh, oh, we've actually got it on us already. Let's take... Oh, I don't know. Let's just do a whole bunch, like 16 of them. And select the fan block. Malfunctioning. Ah, uh, does this does this go downwards, though? That's... <gasps> we placed the block and it made a crazy sound. You get that texture on the bottom, which ain't the worst texture ever, I've got to say. But it's not the fan texture. It's not the fan texture pointing down. I don't know what block would have that. Maybe... The false transparent one. Let's have a look at that. Nope. Same problem. Okay, let's not use transparency. Speaking of... Uh, speaking of... Uh, <laughs> Iskow, he just joined. Oh, Wells is on. Oh, I've missed a bunch of stuff here. Oh, can I make a stack X in two seconds? A stack of what? What does he want to make me? I don't know. Right, maybe he wants something from him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because it was it was there when I was over there, and now Iskel's logged in. It's there. So you're not a fan of that texture, says Billy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big industrial fan of that, uh, of that texture. I'm, uh, it's not rotating me, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go up here and chuck some glowstone. We would like to, oh no, no, wait, is that how it works or does it go there? No, the blocky paint goes there. No? Paint that with that. Oh, that's the way you do it. Booyah, keep painting for me. Let's read some chat. Ouija Ben says, It wouldn't make sense if the fan was pointing down. Well, it might need to blow air into the room. Okay, Ouija Ben, trying to be smart. Or maybe it's sucking air out of the room. Like, fans don't have to be sideways. Come on now. <laughs> Rocky Avalon says, But I thought you liked industrial music. I do. I love industrial music. Hey, that's too much. I didn't want that much glowstone done. <laughs> I lost track of what it was doing. Hi, I tried to open, but something didn't open it. Let's take that. <gasps> what was that sound? Hey, Asuma, how are you today? Says Nati Arafan. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. So... I mean, that emits light, but it's sort of alright, isn't it? Maybe maybe we don't want to make this area up top crazy luminous. I don't know. I feel like these fans... Uh, sorry, these pillars are just going to have to go, really. 
Painted glowstone. Did I actually put the painted glowstone one in? I did, because I've still got 16 of those. Just the one to go. So, we were not carrying Midori into this part of the build at all, by the looks of it. And that's probably the better choice, really, isn't it? It probably is the better choice. Uh, we got to resubscribe from Iskow85 for eight months in a row saying, Looks great. Thanks, Iskow. Were you on about your base? Because we were there a moment ago. Or this place. He's talking about this place, man. I know he is. I mean, that is Scal base, so it might have all these fancy blocks in it. But it ain't no whatever this is. Actually, this doesn't look that great yet, does it? Iskow, your base is amazing. I'm trying to be funny, and it's not working. <laughs> Morgan Corn says, Wow, Iskow85 resubscribe hype. Indeed. Why am I, like, constantly flying? Wait, oh. Oh? Pressing forward was stopping me from flying. That. Oh, I think... Whoa, hang on. I think auto jump or that step up thing is stop... Jeez, this is really annoying. Why I keep dropping out of the sky? My wings are on. <laughs> Hi, I've grown some wings. Oh. How do we get these things off? What did I press? No, that's the shuffle. That's text. Wings, thanks. Oh, now I can now I can fly again normally. Oh, man. Right, so how can we copy Iskow? Now that I know he's watching. <laughs> I've forgotten what he did. Basalt? Was it basalt we were looking for? Oh, all the way over there, and now I can't remember why. I think we're looking for some basalt. Yep, raw basalt. And... Oh, I used another factory block as well. What's this? Who's saying my base is lagging? And if so, where did you find this? Good question. Uh... Everywhere. <laughs> uh, Asuma visited. Lagged like crazy and the server went very, very laggy. Yep. Literally everywhere lagged. Lucanator07 says you activated your glider. Where were you five minutes ago when I needed to know that, my friend? I'm only messing about. Uh, that's not the block I actually wanted to check out. It was Basalt. Now, what look? I'm trying to get a closer look here. What, what's going to fit industrial? It's very dark texture. But I think that one might do the trick. And then when it comes to the industrial blocks, the one that Iskow was using, it's not there? I don't see it. Oh, don't tell me it wasn't. Ah, it wasn't, was it? I think I know what one it's from, though, actually. I think it's... That one? One of those? No. Uh-oh. I don't want to go all the way back there to find what texture it was. Oh, what a derp. Rotation wand! Says Notting Row. Why are people saying rotate the block? Oh, what, the fans? Is there such a thing? Interesting. Um, Rod of the Shaded Mesa. That's the thing. I'm not seeing that. I'm pretty sure it's a chisel texture. Like, is it that one? But I'm struggling to see the texture very well. Hmm. A lot of people in chat are saying it was steel. No, no, it's not steel. I never, I never found out what the block was because I assumed it was from chisel. Uh, we're gonna go back just so I can show you. And also, Iskow, if you're watching, you can see how horrendously laggy it is over there. I think if you've got Optifine installed, it might not be the same. Wait! Wait, who's this fella? Whoa! Jeez! It's a Shuriken battle in the sky! <laughs> oh, That's cool! I love the sound it makes. His makes a different sound to mine. This actually looks amazing, doesn't it? Why does his... Oh, maybe he put the glowing like modifier on his. Wait, where are we? <laughs> I've flown off. Oh, we're near Ren's base. Let's go this way. Let's go to the lag fest. Steel scaffolding or a custom chisel and bits thing, says Slingo the cat. Slingo, my man! It was, uh... It wasn't either of those things. Trust. Trust. Assume we're not derping, okay? Assume we're no... Oh, oh, the frames be disappearing. Oh, faster than I can see them. Hi, placing a block in my face. Oh! Down here we go. Oh, this might be the one? Well, this is one of those ones. Let's open the chisel. 
Is it there? I really don't feel like I see it. It's not there. What is this? What is this one from? I'm missing sight here. Wireframe? Factory block. It just looks very different when it's by itself. Okay, let's have a look again. Wireframe. There it is. So that just looked really, really different like that. And then there's purple wireframe. Okay, so wireframe is the one. I think there was one other I saw as well, which was either similar or different. There's, this one is purple wireframe. Okay. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, and this scale. Wait, 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 wait. We could tell him where the, the major lag is. No, it wasn't on that floor. Oh, it's the same one again. This is the floor. Okay, so it was wireframe. No. Right, this is somewhere here is where the major lag is. What is causing that lag? Also, we never went through here, did we? Cool. Right, anyway, we know what it is now. Wireframe. That's the one. Are those like... Oh, yeah, yeah, they're dark steel fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what that is. Of course I do. I love cats, says extra derp. Why am I a derp? I didn't derp, did I? Rocky Avalon says yes, top row in the middle. Oh, that was what I derped. Hey, it really doesn't look the same when it's not placed on the ground. That's one of the things I've experienced with those factory blocks. When you look at them in chisel, they end up looking a fair bit different when you actually start placing them down. Uh, basic splash is second from the bottom. In the very left, there is a 3x3 three three fan that can face down. Very second, bottom from the left. Where are we at? Very bottom from the left. I'm a massive fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this. Is that the one that faces downwards then? Let's have a look at it. Uh, doesn't this one like, isn't it a three by three thing? That's uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Get out of my base. Smelly. Smelly, smelly slimes. They get all of the wreckage. That's what they get. See you later, champs. Natalie says, Fire food plus a sumo stream. Great day for me. That sounds nice. I need some good food. I got a salad, though. Like, salads are good, but a little boring. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make myself. I'm gonna have to spice up my salad with something later. Okay, uh, right, so we wanted to. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this differently, actually, from what I'm doing right now. We had this one. And we had the one that we haven't made yet, because I'm a derp. Wireframe. Okay, so down the bottom here, what if we use some wireframe to go around this edge? Okay, then we can put something different in the middle. Or basalt. Ooh, that is not what I was expecting it to do. I really don't think that would fit in, actually. So wireframe wins. Round one goes to wireframe. Also, we're going to do it with that, so the texture looks a little better. Or maybe in this case it doesn't. Maybe it looks better if it just goes like... Yeah, okay, we'll keep it like that, straight down. Hey, Asumi, use the eye chisel instead. It shows the block in a preview panel, says Gunday Man. I've had a few people mention the uh, eye chisel. There it is. How does one make? Oh, okay, gold and redstone. Let's go make it. Let's upgrade our chisel to an eye chisel. Uh, there you are. I think... I think I just put a chisel in the system. I would know. Yeah, I would know. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow, that's better. Oh, cool. I like that. That's about ten times better, isn't it? And then what happens when I press that? Cables? Chisel? Oh. Oh, so you can see if they connect. That's really... And can I... Yeah, look, that's really good. Those cables, by the way. That is one yucky looking block. Therefore, I'm going to chisel and take the block and place it down on the ground. Is that for real? That's a really ugly texture. I think that's like a one in a gazillion chance you're going to need it. <laughs> I like that a lot. Jota Crafts says, not the eye chisel. What's bad with the eye chisel? I think it's pretty cool. That's going to lead into that area. 
So personally, I'm feeling like that's a better step in the direction that we're looking for. Big and open up, no more Midori in here. Just going for an industrial thing. Um... So then we get a big open area, which I believe we need to put something in the middle of or give some function. Because otherwise we're going to end up with like a really big, flat, sort of obnoxious thing. If we brought the Midori pillars back, I really don't see them working in this build. Uh, no, still have no X voice. I hate it, says a Tiff Blaze. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Not quite sure what you mean. Alien Explorer says, what about the nose, chin... The nose chins all. The nose chins. Not sure what we're talking about. Anyway, we, we sort of doesn't look like we've done a lot here, but we have. You can just see how built like grindy building in mod it is. To be fair though, this room's kind of massive. Like I probably should have put the walls back here, but this is where it drops down. So a ton of work still to be done here. Um, I'd love to keep going, but my voice is getting a bit tired. So I think we're going to round things up here, which reminds me to say a massive thank you, Shadow King Dark, and Demonator UK for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate the uh, subscribes there. Uh, but that is going to be it from me this one. Hope you enjoyed the bonus stream. Really glad I chose to do this. I enjoyed it. We'll be back again tomorrow, probably with some more Hermit Pack. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, uh, donated, resubscribed, cheered, hang out in chat. Didn't hang out in chat. Thanks to all of you for coming along and watching. Thanks to those of you who are just listening. Uh, we're going to do a raid now. I believe my buddy Hypno will be streaming at this time of day. Uh, also, Doc M is streaming. Maybe we can raid Doc M if he's still alive. That would be amazing. Let's see. What's happening? Guys, don't go anywhere. Oh, Doc's no longer streaming. Jeez. Also, Biffer and Zuljin are hosting me. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Right, I'm going to send you over to Hypno. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now, bye bye.